Welcome back to the 28th part in this Python series on the Django Web Framework and in this one I'm going to take a look at the middleware class that we've been writing over the, over the last couple of videos so this login required middleware class and really this method process view I want to sort of rewrite this slightly because I don't really like how I've done the logic here and I, I also need to improve it slightly as well so what I'm going to say is I'm going to say if request dot user dot is authenticated And I'm basically going to remove the knots here and I'm sort of going to flip it around because there's another sort of section that I want to add. And I'm going to say, so if the user is authenticated and the URL that they're going to is exempt, so and uh, URL is exempt, so I haven't defined that yet, but what that's going to be is it's going to be this value, which is a Boolean value. So it's just going to be true or false depending on whether the URL that they are trying to access on the web server is exempt from being logged in, being a logged in user or not. So I'm going to define that variable, uh, URL is exempt, and I'm just going to say it's equal to that. So it's going to be true or false, and it's going to say, okay, so if the URL is, for example, login or logout or register, they're the three that we have at the moment, that will be in exempt URLs. If it's one of them, uh, then we're going to do the uh, stuff inside this block. This is just going to be a simple uh, return redirect, and then it's going to re re redirect them to the settings dot login redirect URL. So the reason it's this URL is because it's going to be because the user is already logged in. So if they're logged in, then they shouldn't have access to the login page or the logout page or the register page, which they must be accessing, uh, assuming the URL is in the list of exempt URL because that's the three that we have in that list at the moment. So if they're re requesting one of the, those pages as a logged in user, except for one, uh, one case, which is going to be the logout page in a minute, which I'll uh, explain later, uh, for the most part, we want them to be redirected to a page which can sort of show them that they're a logged in user. So I'm just going to say login redirect URL. So anytime a user tries to go to a login or logout page when they are logged in already, they'll just get redirected to the uh, home page essentially. Now, the next use case is if the uh, user is authenticated. Now, this if statement is going to cover two possible scenarios. Now, there's one case where the user is authenticated, but the URL that they're trying to access is not exempt, or vice versa. So, if the user isn't authenticated, but the URL is exempt. In both of those cases, that is where we want the users to be spending all of their time whilst they're using our site, because it means that if they're not logged in, they're going to see a not logged in page. And if they are logged in, they're going to see the logged in pages only. So I'm going to say or URL is exempt. And this is a really simple one because we don't have to do anything here. We'll just return none. And the reason for that is because uh, the middleware doesn't have to interfere. It doesn't have to redirect them anywhere because that's what we want most people to do. That's just that's going to work for them. Uh, they're going to get to the page that they wanted to see rather than having to be redirected. So the final case, and in fact I think I'm going to change this to an else statement because there's no point in having if, if, uh, just write it all as one statement. And then I'm going to say else, so in every other case, so it means that the user is not logged in and the uh, URL is not exempt, so they're trying to view a page as a non-logged in user uh, that requires the user to be logged in. And for that, all we're going to do is what we had up here, which is going to be re return, uh, redirect, and that's just going to be settings.login URL. So if they're trying to access a page which they don't have access to because they haven't logged in yet, then they'll just get redirected to the login page to be able to log in. So at this point I'm going to comment out the old stuff because that's pretty much what, we, what we've got already. I've just sort of refactored it. I think this looks slightly nice so we could maybe condense that down a little bit so that it's 
It's just one block, but I think that's a lot more readable than it was before. And now that we've got that, I want to I want to show you some other thing, because there's one thing still in the site that doesn't work. You can see the development server is updated, which means I haven't got any typos, which is good. Uh, but I'm going to log in. And if we press the log out button, then it doesn't work. It doesn't log us out because we've just stayed on the home page. And if, if you look at this web server here, you can see that it requested the uh, account for slash log out. And then it got a 302, a 302, which is a redirect, essentially. And it redirected us to forward slash account. So you might think, well, what's going on here? I just pressed log out and I'm not logging out anymore. It worked before. So what's going on? Well, I mean, we have our views and our URLs saying forward slash log out. It should just log us out because it's using that built-in Django view. So there's nothing wrong with the view. But if you, if you think about it, the middleware intervenes just before we load that view. So the logout view logs the user out, but the middleware is going to intervene right before that. So at that point, the user is still logged in. And that means that we have to sort of explicitly log them out before we check if the user is authenticated or not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to set up a sort of exclusion for anyone who is logged in, who's pressing the logout button, who's trying to log out. And for that, I'm just going to say anyone who's requesting the account forward slash logout path, I'm going to explicitly log them out in the middleware itself rather than relying on the view to do it because it's just, it's not going to get there because it's going to assume that we're logged in and not, not log us out. So to do that, I need to first import the logout function, which is built into Django. And I'm just going to say django.contrib.auth import logout. So that's the function that we're going to use to just override any sort of logout request and make sure that the user is logged out before we check if they're authenticated or not because that obviously changed this value from true to being false so it's important that we do that before we check so I'm just going to put it here and I'm going to say if path so path being the path they're trying to request in the URL is equal to and for now I'm going to hard code it but in a future video I'm going to talk about not hard coding URLs like this uh, we could put this in settings as well, so that would be a, another good way to do it. But if path is account for forward slash logout, I'm just going to leave it like that for now. And now I'm going to say logout. And then all it takes is request, which we're passed into this uh, middleware method anyway, so that's really easy. So now that we've done that, it should be able to refresh once, once the development server's refreshed. And now a logout button should work. So that's fine. Uh, so in the next video I'm going to talk a bit about those hard-coded URLs and maybe why you shouldn't do it and how you can avoid it.